Hey there, we're going to solve inequalities using multiplication or division. You've been solving them and graphing them uh, involving adding or subtracting. So this will be a little bit different. you got to be careful. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to introduce something new. Not how to solve them is new, but there's a situation that comes up. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to write an inequality. <clears throat> Sorry. There's your inequality. Is it true? Of course it's true, right? Good. Good job. So yes, this is the statement, and it's true. I'm going to put T for true. If it ends up being false, I'll use F for false. I think that's pretty standard, okay? Now, I'm going to take this whole entire inequality, and I'm going to test to see if I can multiply it and see if it's still true or if it makes it if it messes it up and makes it false. I'll check also on division, okay? So I'm going to multiply both sides of this inequality by 3, and I end up with 24 is greater than 6. Is that still true? It is. Very good. I'm going to take the entire thing, and then I'm going to try now dividing. Multiplication seems okay, dividing. So I'm going to divide now. I'll divide both sides of this by, it doesn't matter, by 2, and we'll see what happens. It's 12 is greater than 3. Is it still true? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Let's try now a different value. I'm a little concerned about maybe multiplying by negative. So let me take this entire inequality and multiply by negative 2. Let's see what happens. It's negative 24 greater than negative 6. Is negative 24 greater than negative 6? <gasps> no, it's not. So guess what? You cannot do this without it affecting the inequality. Okay? You cannot. Now, let me write another inequality. I'm going to start with this because we said that was true. 12 is greater than 3. That's true. Now, I'm going to try, we tried the multiplication. Multiplication by positive is fine, but once we multiply by negative, that's not fine. Let's check, uh, oh, we also divided, yeah. Let's check now, let's check division by a negative. So look what happens. 12 divided by negative 3. So I'll divide the whole thing by negative 3. Let's see what happens. We end up with negative 4 is greater than negative 1. And that's false. So guess what, people? You, when you multiply or divide by a negative, it makes the inequality false. So what do you think you have to do about that? How can you correct it? Because we can't take our inequality and make it false. That's just not a good thing. So guess what? How can I take this, which we say is false, how can I take it and suddenly make it true again? Uh, I'm not going to change the numbers. You got it. I'm going to change the sign. So if we take the inequality symbol and flip it around, guess what? It's true. We take the inequality symbol and switch it around, guess what? It's true. So, I'm going to tell you this. This is something you're going to have to remember. You have to remember into all the way into algebra. Okay? I don't know what better way to say it. But uh, when you... When and if... When... If... You multiply or divide an inequality by a a by a negative value
comma, you must, how do you want to say it? Switch, flip, switch, you must switch the inequality symbol. Okay? Or you will be wrong every time. And guess what? You will be pretty frustrated in algebra when you continually forget. And that, that kid next to you never forgets. You always get it right, and the teacher always tells you... I'm sorry, that kid always gets it right, but you get a... Oh, almost. So, guess what, people? Anytime you have an inequality... And you divide it or multiply it to both sides, like I'm doing right here. This is negative 5. Guess what? Take the symbol. You must just switch it the other way. Or you will be wrong all the time. Why did I switch the symbol? Guess what? I divided by a negative. Is dividing by a positive okay? Yes. Dividing by a positive is okay. All right. Let's say you had something like this. There's a set of numbers, and you divide them by negative 2. They're always greater than negative 5. Solve it. Well, you can take this. Uh-oh, red alert. I'm multiplying both sides by negative 2, so guess what? Guess what? This must go the other way. Why, Mr. Waitley? Why must it go the other way? I showed you. Because if you multiply an inequality by a negative, it changes it. If you divide an inequality by a negative, it changes it. So that is why. Okay? And you, for this unit and for the rest of the inequalities unit, you're going to have to remember this. When or if you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative value, you must switch the symbol. Okay? All right. So, you know, going into um, solving inequalities, one-steppers with multiplication and division, that's the hardest thing. The hardest thing is to remember that. Okay? All right, so let's solve a couple. There's a set of numbers out there. When you multiply them by negative 3, they're always less than or equal to 12. Let's find that set of numbers. So guess what? Guess what? You, like we did last time we met... You're going to treat them like you would a one-step equation in the beginning. Your eyes are going to go to the variable side. You're going to ask yourself, okay, what's with the variable? It's multiplying by negative 3. You're going to do the opposite of that. You're going to take that number, divide it to both sides, and guess what happens? Uh-oh, did we divide by negative? Yes, we did. So guess what? This, make it go the other way. And nobody's going to remind you. Nobody's going to hold your hand and, and talk to you about it. You're just going to have to remember. Okay? So what is our solution? Our solution is all values greater than negative 4. For you to graph that, I'd like to see you put two other numbers on the number line just to you know, explain to you and remind yourself the order of the values on the number line. All numbers greater than or equal to negative 4, as I had to switch the symbol. So, you're going to go to negative 4, draw your boundary. Numbers greater than, go to the right. Mm-hmm. And then, does this get shaded in? Yeah, because it has that. Okay. So there you have it. You're going to solve one-step multiplication division equation uh, inequalities just like you would an equation, but you have to watch, you have to check, you have to keep your eyes out for this rule. When you multiply or divide by a negative, you've got to flip the symbol, okay? Not a positive. Let's try this one. Uh, we'll use another negative, negative 6. There's some sort of set of numbers. When you divide them by negative 6, they're always greater than, I don't know, 10. 
What are those numbers? Well, let's go ahead and solve it. You're going to treat it like an equation. You're going to take your eyes to the variable side. You're going to see what's happening with the value, and you're going to do the opposite. So the opposite of dividing by negative 6, multiply by negative 6 to both sides. Red alert, red alert, symbol must get switched or you're going to be wrong. 10 times negative 6, and then these 6s cancel, leaving you with all numbers or all values less than negative 60. Okay? Less than. So I'll put negative 60 on my number line, negative 59, negative 61. I'm going to circle the 60. And where are the numbers that are less? To the left. Sorry. Does it include 60? No, not at all. Okay? So that's how we're going to go about solving inequalities involving multiplication division. You must please keep an eye out for negatives, okay? And it only involves multiplying, dividing, okay? Six, there's a set of numbers out there. If you multiply them by six, they're always greater than 12. What are they? Well, let's solve it. I is over here, opposite of multiply, divide. So I'm dividing both sides by 6, and I get numbers greater than 2. Did I switch the symbol at all? No. Even if this were a negative here, look. If this were a negative, I'd end up with negative 2. This doesn't get switched. Why not, Mr. Whitley? Because you divided both sides by positive 6. Okay? All right, we'll do a couple practice ones. You tell me if we need to switch the symbol or not, okay? All right.